I wanted to talk about a couple of the books that we've added just to show you a, a sampling. Um, one of them that I really enjoyed was Dark Sky Rising uh, by Henry Louis Gates and Tanya Bolden. So this is all about the Reconstruction era in the United States, um, the dawn of the Jim Crow laws and segregation. Uh, not necessarily the, the sunniest or easiest topic, but a really important one. And uh, it's written for middle grade students and high school students, and it's just excellent. It just came out last year, and it's very, very good. One of the books that we added on the new uh, recommended reading list that um, taught me a lot, but I also had some fun with, uh, with my students, was The Berlin Wall, an interactive modern history adventure. So... Uh, some of us may remember the Choose Your Own Adventure books. I always hated those, but Justin <laughs> loves them. Yes, so. and the trick was you had to keep your finger in the place where you make a choice point, so if it ends badly, you can flip back. I don't like being given choices. Yeah. <laughs> so, but this is about the Berlin Wall, and you take on the role of a German citizen in the 1960s or 70s or 80s, and you, you can end up making several choices. Do you choose to try to... Um, stay in East Germany and make the best of life under that regime or to try to tunnel under the wall even though that's dangerous. Uh, you may um, end up being a border guard or feel like you have to inform for the government. It's really interesting but it also tells students something about the hard choices that real people have to make in history. What did you choose Justin? So I became a border guard and um, it, it did not end well, but I kept my finger in the spot, so I ended up... Did you make a different choice? I made a different choice. So, let me do two more. One of the books that we added this time around was Mosque by David Macaulay. Now, David Macaulay is a familiar name. Um, we've recommended before his books on castles and cathedrals and... Some of you may be familiar with how stuff works or how things work that he did. But Mosque is a beautiful book about um, the building of a real mosque in the Ottoman Empire in what is now Turkey. And uh, it's gorgeous inside and out and really shows you not only the construction and the art, but also goes in depth about um, a lot of the religious significance and cultural significance of mosques in the Ottoman Empire and in the Muslim world more generally. So. Uh, there is a chapter of the Story of the World, Volume 4, which is about the Russo-Japanese War. And let me tell you, that is hard to find books about for <laughs> young readers, um, especially in English, but also actually in Russian or Japanese. Um, but we did it. We found a few. And this is one that I actually really enjoyed. So this book, Great Naval Battles of the 20th Century, which includes a major battle, Tsushima, from the Russo-Japanese War, was actually written by the official artist illustrator of the French Navy. So the day I picked this book up, I also learned that there's an official artist illustrator of the French Navy. Uh, it's a graphic novel, comic book style format, again, beautifully done, and it tells the story um, in deep historical detail, but also great drama of uh, the Battle of Tsushima that decided the Russo-Japanese War, but also other 20th century battles, including Midway, which shows up again in uh, the World War II chapters of the story of the world. And then at the end gives um, capsulized but in-depth uh, discussions for middle grade and older readers about the background of these stories and, and why these battles were happening and what the significance of them was. So um, if you have perhaps someone who's not a super enthusiastic reader, but they like illustrated books and comic books or and uh, battles, and battles uh, which a lot of our readers do. And if you were someone you know like me who wished that there was more stuff like this when you were a kid, you know you can buy it and say that it's for the kids.